Let me start by saying we have a jerry-rigged operation here. We've got a <laughs> camera over there that is on the computer because TLC Go has apparently stricter guidelines than TLC. So I've paid for a whole cable subscription for four episodes and they won't let me screen record. They know what you're I'd doing. I'd like to talk to the brass at, <laughs> at, at Discovery Communications. From everything that you know about our covenants, would you say that you've somehow broken your covenant? No, we only had the affair. I didn't break covenants. He divorced her for the whole world to see without even telling her. That's not breaking a covenant? In fairness to Cody, <laughs> what he did was not tell her that he was divorcing her and then just string her along for like a decade. I feel like that was 100% a gaslight. Who's... I'm afraid to critique it because I get a lot of heat on the gaslight topic. Who's but being gaslit, do you think? We are. Like... Maybe. All right. Oh, yeah. I think we are being gaslit by Robin right there. And also, I see why the other sister wives don't like her based on that. That was like just is so nonsensical. Like, ugh, what are you talking about? Like, based on our covenants, like you can totally divorce someone behind their back, and then that's like not breaking a covenant. Like, it's just this weird swirl. That's why they don't like her. She probably swirls a lot of things. I think she does, and I, <laughs> I, I always go back and forth. I mean, I, 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 this is this is a wild interpretation on her part. I saw where he actually said, no, I don't consider myself married to marry anymore. I don't really consider myself married to marry. That's solid covenant behavior. <laughs> I think I'm sure it's written right in there. Too. What do you mean? Yeah. Uh, Cody, in your expansive review of the literature tied to our covenant is, have you done anything that seemed to break it? Yeah. No. I never have. <laughs> I don't understand why she keeps playing this, and I think it's because she's addicted to being a victim. It's a little gaslighty because he's now he's he is saying that to change her reality, to change the way she sees herself and her ability to understand people. Like he's leading her to question her own sort of emotional intelligence. I don't think it's a. I think it's a lot gaslighty. It's heavy gaslight. All right, it's heavy gaslight. I agree. Psychologist zero. Normal person, one. Bringing in a new sister wife after the first three have been a family for 20 years was a bad idea. We obviously felt like it was good for us at the time. I still feel like that it was. Right, that's cognitive dissonance. Her behavior was to actively bring Robin in and for her beliefs to jive with that, she has to say, oh, it was a really good idea. Despite the fact that objectively it was a freaking nightmare. Jeff, you're reading too many tabloids. Hey, we didn't want this breakup. I didn't want this breakup. I know, but he wasn't being rude. I can't tell. That was a good moment. Not a good moment. I thought that was a, a snippet into what Cody really feels. I think Cody has to, I think he feels like he is filtering and restraining all the time. Mm -hmm. And that was like a, that comment got his goat a little bit. And so you saw him. I think it's, I think he, they catch a tremendous amount of shit. Yeah. Why do you keep staring at me? What are my teeth looking weird? What's going on? No. You're not making eye contact. You're keeping my, what is it? <laughs> Am I doing that? Yeah, I can't, you're not looking at me. You're looking at, you're like this. <laughs> what? You have, um, like your whiskers are going like all over the place on your mustache and so, they're distracting. People think that I was a doormat because I chose to stay in my committed marriage. I disagree with your statement about me of being a doormat and I will not take that on to myself. She owns her truth. I mean, I think she was a bit of a doormat. <laughs> I mean, From I, our I, perspective, but she felt like she committed to somebody, even though he didn't respect her. Yeah, but that, but that's what a, that's what someone that was codependent would say, and that's what they, they, that's what they would think. Like she put up with emotional abuse. It wasn't her fault, but she was, I think, neglected for a decade, 
and she put up with it because she was saying, you know, I believe in this covenant. But while her intentions were good, while her intentions and aside from the catfish situation, her intentions and behavior were good, she did end up being mistreated. But was that was that a boring thing I was saying? No. Go. I don't know how to edit around your yawn when I'm. I lost my turn of thought. Right. What do you think? I mean, <laughs> I guess she was a bit of a doormat. You're right. No, but do you know what I'm saying? This, while she didn't do anything wrong, she he did step on her and do whatever he wants. Yeah. And she did not push back when she was stepped on. Yes, doormat. Okay. Disagree, Mary. You never know if Cody and I are going to stay together. I mean, <laughs> you never know what's going to happen another 22 years down the road. I'm grabbing straight. God, oops. <laughs> Did I say that? Cody is not feeling that one. <laughs> what I mean here is that we each deserve our own, and I wanted the fifth lot for basically a family lot. So if you just look at this objectively, big, big, small, small, Cody. I mean, it's not unreasonable for Mary to say, well, since these two are big, mine should now be big also. Agreed. And Cody has his own family lot. What the hell is he talking about? And then the idea of, I've explained this like Mary's stupid. No. You're stupid and selfish. And in my opinion, if Robin wants to be a, you know, if she's a champion for Mary's cause, Robin should say, Cody, that's not fair. Yeah, right? she, but she didn't, doesn't. She never champions for the other wife. Instead, she says, wait, 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 maybe I should get it because I want my own piece. Yeah. It's like you already have a big piece. What are you talking about? That was one angry argument that I had with Janelle once. Once I was mad at Janelle for the things that her boys were doing and that she was doing. It's weird that he doesn't say our boys. I was sort of lost in his six pack abs here. <laughs> but she needs to know it is okay on the other side. This narrative that Christine talks about all the time frustrates me. I'm fine. I'm, I am separated from Cody. And she acts like I'm sitting here needing encouragement to leave. By that. Yeah, that would be annoying. I feel like it would be patronizing because she's been like the most independent out of all of them. Yeah. She's given, I feel like of all of them, she gives Cody the middle finger, like didn't ask about the camper. Just like, whatever. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But I don't think that she is as, I don't think that her independence, I think her independence is adaptive because of how she's been treated. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think that whatever, 15 years ago, if you were to ask her, how do you want your relationship and your life to turn out with Cody, I think she would want something very different, but she's been mistreated. And so now she's sort of adopted the narrative of, I don't need everybody else and I'm fine. But you don't wanna be fine in a relationship. You don't wanna be fine in flags, right? She's not, I don't know that she, if she was being honest with herself, if she feels like she's thriving. Instead, I think she's just sort of stuck here trying to manage the kids, trying to manage Cody, and Christine's saying, yeah, like you could thrive. Mm -hmm. I think the other thing is, and I'd love, I feel like Janelle could give advice to all women, monogamous, polygamous, um, like to how to, now that you're in this, she didn't protect herself as a woman with finances. Yeah. So I feel like, I do feel like that's a big part of it. Like her finances are all intertwined with Robin and Cody's and she really has no choice at the moment until it unscrambles. Mm -hmm. Like I'm still spiritually married to Cody. Like I don't know how to get a divorce that way. I can tell her how. I feel like she already did it. She already did it. This is her second marriage. No, but well, <laughs> yes, but what Mary's getting at is that there is a loophole in the system. What's the loophole? You get it in with somebody else. Oh, oh, the joke. <laughs> and if you listen closely to how he talks to her, well, I talks to any of us really, except for Robin, it's always this really weird, 
It's like he tries out the different angles to see what gets the most real estate. I do want to say, because we were giving Mary a hard time about being a doormat, that her relationship or her behavior as far as exiting the relationship with Cody, I think mirrors that of a lot of women in abusive relationships. Right, like on the outside, it's really easy. Get the hell out. Why are you putting up with it? You're being codependent or whatever. You're being a doormat. But if you're married and you're invested in the relationship and you've got all these kids that you want to be say connected to, you want to do the right thing by your faith, you know. And what Cody does is he treats her like shit, and then every once in a while he gives her a glimpse of like, hey, it could work. Like I think that's why it's been so hard for her to leave. And I personally think that if this show didn't exist and she wasn't confronted with it the way that she's being confronted here, like he'd have a lot more power and be able to continue to manipulate her. Miri has struggled ever since she got catfished because she was a victim of the catfishing. She's not being accountable in her own way for the problems or the discussion in that marriage, the discussions that we've had. She's like, please stop talking. <laughs> I don't know if it's me or how do I get you to shut up? I'm not meaning to blame you, Cody. Then just don't. <laughs> then, please. I never blamed him. What did I say in this conversation that I blamed? It's so wild to me the way Cody... No, what's mm. wild, what's wild... Mm is that Mary just watched that. And instead of saying, yeah, he's an asshole, Mary's response is, I really didn't blame him. Right? That's a weird stance. She's, well, she's an abuser. She's an abused victim. So she's like trying, she's like walking on eggshells with a crazy person. That's what it is. I feel like she is behaving like someone walking on eggshells. Yeah. He wants her to say our marriage is over. She's not going to say that. She's never going to say that. I said the marriage is over. I was fine with doing that. But she's not. She's not that person. Christine's very proud of herself. I did it. You know, she's having a hard time. <laughs> All of them are having a hard time. But I did it. And I'm hooking up with the biker guy, so. You brought up things I've said and things that I've done. Right. She's saying that feels like blame. She's saying the okay. things I that said, you've said. Let and me. Done. Can I? Can I? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Sir. How annoying is Robin? She's saying. She's saying. She's got a Robin spleen. <laughs> We're getting a lot of Robin spleen. I think Robin is splaining because she is <laughs> conflict avoidant <laughs> and she just can't deal with there being any kind of friction. So she's. Got to try to involve herself and make sure everybody's calm. Okay, just trying to help. I'll shut up. I understand. Okay, first of all, I'm so glad that you had her stop talking over you and trying to like what Robin Splain, <laughs> Mary Splain. I don't know. What's that comes from you. I am just. That comes from you. For sure, comes from me. We sell merch. Yeah, you have a shirt. <laughs> Mary, did you see that? I or call, Jen. It was Jen. Or Jen. I don't know Jen. Well, I have you, lots of I have lots of merch. You can buy it. You want something that we can't have together, and we can always have something else. Lucky you. You can have something else. <laughs> Definitely, you're not your fair share of the property. Yeah, you I can't, said no. <laughs> it won't be love and affection, and it won't be the property. But just stay around and keep buying in. Yeah, you know, like a barn dominium. <laughs> I need to move away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you find my... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not laughing because she's crying. That's not why I'm laughing. I like Mary's friend. Yeah. And Mary's friend and Christine are right. I understand it's not funny to laugh at Robin crying, but this is a very sort of histrionic behavior. How do I take this intense motion, uh, moment and make it all about me? I just want to be supportive of you too, but I just need to move away. <laughs> I'll just go for a walk. This is the best episode. This is, this is so the, the best, best episodes of all the women being like, what the hell is going on with her? There's so, okay, so this is why I like Sister Wives, the show. Like, because these women are so normal. Yeah. Like, Mary and Christine and Janelle are just like really normal. And so. Before Robin came or like 
Robin's the only one that's not normal. <laughs> what do you mean by normal? Like they just add, they have a normal responses, like appropriate responses to mm. everything. All of mm -hmm. them do except for Robin. I don't know. I feel like we just had a breakup conversation. <laughs> I'm glad we've gone this long so we can be friends in the part of the departure. <clears throat> Mary definitely deals with stress by laughing. Yeah. <laughs> what else am I supposed to do with it, Robin? You've been doing a certain thing for a long time. I know I have. Okay. So keep it up. You, Mary, you, you're on a, a great streak, a decade of just living Being with Being a this. doormat. Yeah. For 10 years, come on, a good streak. It's so good. Keep You've been it doing up. it a long time. I just want to support you in that. You can keep coming over for Thanksgiving and bringing your turkey. Not Easter, though. It was performance. It was performance. It was <laughs> doing what I was supposed to. I'm sorry to, to call it an act. Nobody wants to be that. I feel like I've said it a thousand times. This is like, this, this would be a behavior that would line up with the diagnosis of narcissism. Mm -hmm. This, like, he... he He's not tracking that what he's saying is hurtful because he doesn't understand. He doesn't. Mary is not important in her in his world, and so he he's saying these like offensive things. The act is easy, or don't worry, it was just a performance. He's not understanding how that would land on somebody else, you know. But if there's even the slightest hint of somebody being frustrated with him, he's super sensitive to it, right? He catches all nuance when it's critical of him. Well, there's a lot, so it's hard to, like, miss. <laughs> there's a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just thinking that, like, Robin um, also must be a narcissist. Because she's, like, not catching anything. Right? Like, she's like, just like, stay here because I want to be on a porch. Like, totally missing that somebody else wants something different. Mm -hmm. Like, unable, like, very unable to understand it. And then just saying, like, well, I support you. But you were like, yeah. really, you do? Because, like, when push came to shove with the lots, you didn't support her. And I feel like it's been backhanded support, really supporting yourself to mm -hmm. have her stay that long. Yeah. But for the record, I am not diagnosing anybody with narcissism. I haven't met these people. I'm just saying that the behavior shown there would line up with some of the diagnostic criteria. Yeah. I am not a psychologist, so I can say they both suck. So I'm just as guilty of uh, thinking that I was in love and trying to work all that mess out. Okay, so when you say I was just a performance, it was just an act. I was trying to do what the right thing was, Robin. You... I'm freaking lost. <laughs> What's going on? They speak their own language. There's an... <laughs> Robin's trying to say that Cody was actually in love because he thought that he was in love. Yeah, and he was saying that he was compensating or something. And Cody's saying, but I wasn't really in love. I don't, I guess I'm missing the whole point. Whatever, I can't even track him. <laughs> the world of social media bashing him, yeah, and you're going to bash me for backing him up here, and that's fine, whatever. Like, but it's hard not to. I'm, I'm backing up somebody who's really hurting. I'm 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 pausing on it because I think that I'm just sort of thinking about Mary in Mary's comment, I'm gonna get bashed for supporting him. And I feel like it's important for her to know that we're not back it's not a criticism of her, but it is a psychological dynamic that occurs as a consequence of a very unhealthy relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, and she's out of it, but she still is is taking care of him. Mm -hmm. Like she did for the last whatever, 10 years that she was mistreated. She put up with all kinds of shit to make, make him more comfortable. But he made zero effort to comfort her. Yes. Mary, he makes zero effort to comfort you. Zero. Our sacred covenant. I won't just sit there and be in a pathetic place with you. Like, was he already complaining to her pre-marriage? Like, promise me you won't oh just... My Gosh, are you serious? I, mean, I never never think Mary, how did you not know that? What? I, I think Mary's been tr listening to what she wants to hear. Wait, I would have known it right that minute. What, we the, all, the whole internet did when they when they watched the video. That Don't, there is a backstory and they had talked about that. So Robin 
Was something more happening that I didn't know? Yes. And you did know it. And we caught you. I don't understand what she doesn't understand. When you monopolize a man in plural marriage, that's a breakup waiting to happen. Sorry, the responsibility of this is really on Cody's shoulders. I agree with Janelle, oh, not Christine. That it's Cody's fault. Yeah, it's not Robin's fault. Yeah. I mean, Robin just is demure and... I mean, if she did all those things, like, you're so great all the time. Like, I, he wouldn't want to leave. Yeah, true, but it, he has four wives. who I, It's Cody's fault. Yeah, I don't think you... you <laughs> I don't think that Robin helped things. But mm -hmm. I also don't know that... I don't know that it's fair to blame her for showing up in a way... Like, the idea of her creating an environment that Cody wanted to be in is not her fault. No, it's... But her not pushing him out... It was her fault. Yeah. What I think is really interesting is Cody's look here. Like, he's, like, I think he's trying to figure out what the hell's going on with Robin. <laughs> What's this water coming out of your eyes? I haven't seen that. No, we've seen a lot of that, but I think... Not real tears. He just is not very empathetic. Look, no. at, look at that. No, yeah, he's this... <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. And that's how this season goes out. We have two more. Now we have the looking forward. This was these these two that we just watched were the look back, and now we're we have to look forward. And what is, is that? The wedding and stuff? No. They are TLC is making their money off of. Oh. Off of this, so there's there's look back part one and part two, and then there's look forward part one and part two, and then there's Christine's marriage part one and part two. Yeah, I have some feedback for TLC. Okay. Yes. I think we get rid of the tell alls. And to replace it with this? Yeah. Yeah, this and, is way better. And I kind of feel like every episode aired should have them all watching it so that we actually get a full understanding of what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. Just my piece of feedback if you want to listen. Thank all you. All right. Ciao. Love you. Love you.